Every now and then we run across something that might have you asking, I wonder why that's there. Well, our curiosity finally got the best of us. We had to find out why someone would put up a giant mailbox. It's hard to miss, tucked away on Quaco Road, but clearly visible from I-95. Why a giant mailbox? I don't know, just, you know, I come up with some crazy things at night. I like to build crazy things, and why I don't know. I just like to do it. It, it, it gets a reaction out of people. You know, they look at it and ask you, why'd you do it, or why this, or why that? And I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know. I don't know. I just do it. It sits in front of what Keller calls the cow farm, about 250 acres where they raise about 75 head of cattle. The mailbox was supposed to go up at the old flea market where the giant cow still stands on Highway 17. But Sherry Keller told him the county might have a problem with that. Keller listened to his wife, so in the mid-90s, he put it in front of the farm. What's the weirdest reaction you got from the mailbox? The girl wanting to live in it. She wanted me to fix it up where she can. I swear she did. You talk about people asking crazy things. She wanted to live inside the mailbox. I'm serious. Keller also has a love of cars. He's 75, but still races in the Road Warrior division at the Oglethorpe Speedway. This Mad Max looking vehicle is what he calls a tribute to his ex-wives, and it attracts a lot of attention from strangers but they go to talk to you that you ain't never seen before or never know. It, it is amazing that people, I had actually had a girl come up with a hot rod and carry his last time I ate there and actually bought my lunch. And she started talking about that crazy car. You know, and that's funny to me. And I enjoy it, I, I do enjoy it, I have to admit. So as long as Keller is able, he will probably be willing to go to the trouble of building crazy things. <laughs> Just for the fun of it just to make you laugh. And if it makes you laugh, I'm happy. And it's like Cheryl Crow says, if it makes you happy, can't be that bad. So after all these years of wondering, I still have no idea why he built it because he has no idea why he built it. And it is built to scale. One inch of a regulation mailbox equals one foot of his giant mailbox. So I don't know. This is, uh, you know, as you both know, so many times you go out to do a story on a thing and it always winds up being about the person. Something else, this yeah. guy, you know, around here we like to say that guy's a hoot. <laughs> he seemed like a hoot. I've got to go see that in person. I had no idea it existed. That is hilarious. Yeah. You know, all these years I just figured that was for oversized deliveries. Yeah. <laughs> he tried making up these stories like, well, I made it because, in that, and then he started joking about it. He's waiting for his big stimulus check to come in. Oh, my God. But he funny. still, as you can see, he just, he has no <laughs> idea. So, I don't know. I find that kind of funny there. All right, coming up next, virtual learning is a big transition for students, but also for teachers.